Today we're investigating a new monster. Naga. Today, I'm here at the Buddhist temple, Wat Patet Dat Doi Su Tep, on the slopes of the mountain Doi Su Tep, overlooking the city of Chiang Mai, Thailand. Now this is uh, probably, well, easily the most venerated Buddhist temple in northern Thailand. And um, we're not here for the Buddha, with all due respects. We're here for the Naga. So come with me, we're going to find some monsters. So this is allegedly the longest or tallest uh, Naga staircase in northern Thailand. Snakes evoke that most visceral emotion from us in the West. We think of snakes as being the very seat of evil, although venomous snakes are rare in Europe. I wonder what it would be like for any European cathedral to try to incorporate serpent scales into the balustrade of their, their sacred shrine. I, I don't think that would go over very well. So can we figure out what these serpents are supposed to represent? Looks like we have a little obvious clue right here. The word Naga comes from Sanskrit and also survives in Hindu. In fact, the genus for the animal, known as a cobra, is in fact Naja in Hindu myth. Three Nagarajas or serpent kings figure prominently Shesha, Basuki, and Takshaka. In Buddhist texts, many serpent kings are featured as well. But most important would be Mukalinda. This serpent appeared when the Buddha began meditating under the Bodhi tree to seek enlightenment. When rain began falling on the Buddha, the cobra Mukalinda coiled around him seven times and protected him from the element with his spread hood. However, most statuary and other iconography shows the cobra split into a number of heads, usually seven, sometimes five, rather than the showing the serpent's coils around the Buddha's body. Let's look carefully at any Naga staircase, or balustrade for that matter. We'll see another creature. Appears to be eating or vomiting the cobra from its mouth. Do we have any clues as to what it might be? Well, here we have a pretty strong clue here. That's what we might be dealing with. This is a makara. The Sanskrit for word for ma crocodile is makara. And these animals serve as bahanas or vehicles for a number of Hindu deities. Especially the water-related ones. The mugger crocodile is a freshwater animal whose range is all over the Indian subcontinent. Its English name comes directly from the Hindu word for crocodile, of course. So, in effect, this is kind of a crocodile staircase. Of course, what's curious is that this makara, or so-called crocodile, 
has one foot over here and I assume on the other side but if you actually climb up all the way up which I'm not interested in doing today there is no rear feet to this crocodile. Well here I am at the top of the staircase and every time I try to count the steps I come up with a different number so I don't bother anyway. What's interesting is that this tail of a alleged crocodile at no point I see any rear legs so I know it's magic. This is Prametorani, a um, earth goddess, water goddess. She's squeezing water out of her hair and into the river. And as you can see, she's been arrayed here in Thailand. In Hindu temples, and palaces, the Makara, is considered to be a guardian of gateways and thresholds. It often combines features from other animals, but not always on the balustrade of stairways. It appears that in Thailand, temple builders decided to have it both ways, showing the Naga and Makara merged together. Uh, it looks as if it started with the Khmer culture, which dominated Thailand from the 9th to 13th centuries. The Thais took it and make it their own. Well, so far we've just begun to scratch the surface of this cycle of legends surrounding the Naga. Um, it's just endless, it seems. Um, I want to share a couple more stories with you before I let you go on your way. The first is the uh, Naga Caves, or the Snake Rock. Naga Cave, or the Snake Rock, is located, located in Phu Langa Forest Park in Thailand. The cave complex has a strange resemblance to a snake. As, as you might imagine, it's read many legends about the Naga. The next aspect of these legends is the Naga Fireballs. The Mekong River forms the border between Thailand and Laos. It's home to many Naga legends as well. Besides alleged sightings of giant serpents in the waves, many folk claim to have seen fireballs above the waters. How the Naga might create these displays is unclear, but there's an annual festival there during the time that these lights are supposed to occur. No, about, no doubt there are people shooting off fireworks just to confuse things. So that's about it, folks, for the Naga. Uh, the Naga and the Makara and whatever else sea serpents people can imagine. If you have any questions or any anecdotes to add to this cycle of strange stories and monsters, please share in the comments below. Um, I think there's more of the monsters coming to you very soon, so stay sharp, stick around, and We'll go monster hunting together.